18 Banner and Road is where Sarah Jane Smith lives. And it's home to things way beyond your imagination. There's an extraterrestrial supercomputer in the wall. A genetically engineered boy genius in the attic. A schoolgirl investigator across the road. And a whole universe of adventure right here on the doorstep. Ready? Always. We are blathery. I think it's a brilliant idea. A dinner party. This little plant could save millions of lives. Will you be our ambassador? Our rack will change your planet forever. Has put on savage dinner in the night. The rackweed is not harmless. I can see that. There's a great big blast to be I'm so tired. The plant appears to have mutated. It will send its victims into a deep, deep coma from which they will never return. Mr. Smith, I need you. Mr. Smith, please, help us. Venting system. Maximum extraction. Mr. Smith, you are amazing. Every computer has a cooling mechanism, though applying it at full power has severely depleted my energy banks. What do I do with this thing? spores not only reseed the plant, they are also its weapon against anything or anyone standing in its path. Well, but surely looks much stronger than a normal human. He is, and may be able to resist the effects for longer. However, he inhaled the spores directly into his lungs. Holy... I'm so sorry. Do not write on the question sheet. Use the paper provided for your answers. Here go, David. Questions. Look, just relay your answers into this. Relaying answers is unethical. You said a test was on a human demonstrating intellectual superiority over others. I brought supercomputer to school. That's pretty smart, wouldn't you say? Logic irrefutable. Good dog. Now keep it short and to the point. Luke's condition. The poison has infected 63% of his cells, but time's running out. You analyzed the plant. You must have some idea how to fight it. The ragweed's genetic structure is adapting constantly. It could take me days to create an antidote. Even then, it might not work. We have half an hour at the most. There's got to be a way. We must be able to help. It's only 50. I'm receiving a local news report of a similar case to Luke's. Put it up, Mr. Smith. This morning, a number of people have been admitted to Parkvale Hospital after collapsing at home or at work. Doctors are unsure what has caused the unusual marks on their bodies, although it has been suggested that they may indicate a rare tropical disease. This looks like it might be another case arriving now. Stay Excuse back, me, please. Doctor. Stay back. Excuse me, Doctor. Cameron Marsh, BBC News. Any comment for BBC News, sir? Any comment for BBC News, Doctor? How quickly can it spread? At its current rate of propagation, the rackweed will have seeded the whole of London within a few hours. And in approximately three days, the plant could easily have consumed the entire plant. Sarah Jane. If you can't give me an antidote, then there's no choice. The Blatherines started this, and they're going to stop. But they'll be halfway across the galaxy by now. You think? 
Oh, I bet they wanted to stick around. It's their plan unfold. Scan for their ship, Mr. Smith. Their ship is shielded. Remember, I did not detect its approach. Without their teleport coordinates, it cannot be located. Lucky I made a note. Teleport trajectory indicates the Blatherine have left Earth's immediate vicinity. No, no, wait, wait a moment. That beam's not heading away from Earth. It's heading towards a satellite. And being relayed back to Earth. Antarctica. She wanted the glory. Same reason they always do. Get their ugly faces in the paper. I expected a little more resistance from the famous Sarah Jane Smith. She was a pushover. <laughs> it's thanks to her that very soon their entire planet will be nothing but ragweed. <laughs> and then <laughs> let the harvest begin. <laughs> save the world if something happens to you. This time, it's about Luke. Rackweed now spreading throughout London. <laughs> this is loaded with vinegar. You're going to do exactly as I say, or I'll blast you to oblivion. She's alive. It's just knocking everyone out. How did the rat get from Sarah Jane's house to here? You saw those seed things. It must be spreading itself. And it's obviously not a good idea to breathe them in. Maybe that's what made Luke ill this morning. Come on, we've got to get to Luke. My son is dying, and I'm not going to let you 
or anyone taken away from me. So keep it perfectly still. I'm feeling trigger happy. You're making a terrible mistake. We didn't do anything. We're innocent. Honestly, we are. I don't believe it. All right. We knew the ragweed would spread, but we didn't realize the damage it would do. We're sorry. We will reverse the process. Leaf? We have no choice, my dear. Entering computer code. Destroy all ragweed. The ragweed is being eliminated. It will take a few seconds. Confirm ragweed density on Earth. Ragweed fully eliminated. Would you mind putting the weapon down, Sarah Jane? It's Miss Smith, dear. Please, Miss Smith. <laughs> Computer, return to normal view. Good try, Miss Smith, but not good enough. It is exactly the first of some news. <laughs> now, we were just having dinner. Why don't you join us? No, oh, thank you. But we insist. <laughs> Just wanted to see if they work. <laughs> that chair cost a fortune. <laughs> Especially those in West London are advised to act with extreme caution. What would Sarah Jane do? She did what she always does improvise. Come on. What a joy to see someone as smug as Sarah Jane Smith destroy the planet she fought so hard to save. Kill me by all means, but not the children. Could you have any of your own? Oh, no! Nasty little things. Profit is our progeny. Isn't using the earth for a fast buck more the Slovene style? How dare you! We're nothing like the Slovene. We're much, much worse. They lack our cunning, our vision, our good looks. Now, now, Leaf, we must still show some tolerance towards our relatives. Your relatives? Didn't we say? We're double barreled, Miss Smith. We are the Slovene Blatherine, the descendants of an interclan marriage many generations ago. Why doesn't that surprise me? You're as bad as they are. For that remark, we won't kill you. We'll keep you alive to watch your beloved Earth die. And then we'll kill you. <laughs> right, that's the gym, bar and canteen box. There's got to be one exit that isn't blocked by a rack of weed. What about a window? Oh, 
of all the gold chips. Ah, oh, even I could get through that. Warning! Danger! <laughs> That's what I like to see, my wonderful little plant spreading. You know, it was my husband who engineered this wonderful new strain of rackweed. Genetically modified to reseed at an incredible rate. The rackweed song will be filling the air. How sweet it must sound. You mean that awful noise? I do call that a song. It's a living thing. Communication is the mainstay of all life. Communication? That's interesting. Without that, how can the rackweed unite and colonize an entire planet? Rackweed now at 93%. Miss me? She can't just have vanished. Clyde, are you okay? Oh, yeah, we're fine. And we think we found a way to kill the rat meat. The school bell. Brilliant, you're both brilliant. It seems to work, but we're not sure why. It's because the, the rat meat is connected by that terrible wailing sound. It's how the plant stays alive, communicates. The bell must break that link. So we should blast the sound of the bell across the entire city. Go with something similar. Good thinking, Riley. Replicate it and we're winning. I can do that, but I would need to know the exact frequency. Oh, K9 can tell you. K9, what's he doing there? I'll, uh, I'll explain later. K9, give Mr. Smith the bell's frequency. 142.1.09. I am now looking to all electrical devices in the area invaded by the rackweed and retuning them to replicate the bell's frequency. Prepare yourself, Sarah Jane. Stop your ears, this is going to be really, really loud. <laughs> Focusing crystal, we're away. And then she will pay in 
be like. That noise, Mr. Smith. If I needed you to produce it again, but just in the attic, could you? Yes, but for what purpose? No, Jane. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Destroying the rectory seems to reverse its effects. And you two are absolute stars. What a team you make. I'll just put it down to pure genius. Mistress! Hey, Nine, what happened to you? Ronnie and I took him for walkies. Don't drag me into this. Negative. Master Clyde took me to school to assist with his tests. He did, did he? Clyde, you don't need to cheat. Have faith in your own abilities. We miss again, Miss Smith. Oh, why don't you just go home? This is your final warning. The Slavine Blatherine do not take kindly to ultimatums. Slavine Blatherine? I knew it. And they're only half bad. Ron is right. Why don't you forget your Slavine side? Give your Blatherine blood a chance. Not all your family can be crooked. The Blatherine are useless, soft-hearted do-gooders. Nothing but middle management. We prefer the view from the top. I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. I've been dying to say this for ages. Let the hunt begin! <laughs> it is our sense of smell that's highly developed, not our earring. <laughs> themselves to death. In a nutshell, Master Clyde. But this isn't how it should end. There should have been another way. A better way. You're amazing, Sir Richard. Mm. <laughs> Which is more than can be said for people who cheat at tests. But who's ever going to want to know about the life cycle of a plant? <clears throat> yourself a mop in the kitchen and clean up this mess. <laughs> For once, I truly hoped we'd found a friend out there. Someone Earth could trust. A way for all of us to move forward, humans and aliens, together. I was wrong. This time. One clean attic. But it doesn't mean our next visitors will be the same. You've cremated our picnic. There are friends out there, too. Friends who really will want to help us. And as we all know, there's nothing more important than friendship. And then one day, with a little luck and a lot of hard work, Earth could be a shining example to the entire universe.